And a warm welcome from one of the newer venues here in the football mad capital of England. We're at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's West Ham United up against Aston Villa. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And now they get the ball rolling. And a look at the West Ham 11. Alphonse Areola between the posts. Vladimir Tsofal starts with Emerson in the fullback positions. Tomas Socek starts alongside James Ward Prowse in central midfield. And Niklas Fulkrug is up front. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Yuri Tiedemans plays alongside John McGinn in central midfield. And leading the line today is Ollie Watkins. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Mavropanos. On to Paqueta. Well, who will be the player to decide the outcome, to determine the course of events? No reason at all why it won't be this man, Stuart. What do you anticipate seeing from him? Well, the game plan of the coach is to get the ball into the front players as quickly as possible. He is the player to do it. He's brilliant with his back to goal. We'll link up the play, and he's key to the way they play the game. Just the challenge that was required. So check. In possession, Bowen. Options in the centre. The fans are shouting, shoot, and a goal! Now they've broken through, 1-0 here. Well, as you can see, he beats the defenders so easily with a change of pace, and then it's a decent finish. That's a very good goal, you have to say. And back underway, 1-0 it is. Getting forward. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Phil Krug. Now, who can he play it to? That's a good ball. And he couldn't quite get himself back on side, Stuart. Well, as a player, you need to be able to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Pau Torres. And Cash with it. Regain possession. Foul there. Free kick awarded. John McGinn. Bailey. And the referee playing advantage. He could pick out a teammate. Now just the tackle that was needed. Phil Krug. Well, very close to half-time now, and it's a narrow lead for the home side. Stuart, how would you assess what you've seen? Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo, and this lead could easily slip away. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Watkins. Can he open them up here? Well, it did look promising, but no threat in the end. Well, it's official now. The first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the London Stadium. I think... Mo So back in business, West Ham with the lead here, but this game far from being done and dusted. Yeah. 
And the shot. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. So a personnel change then. Delivering it. Oh, nodding it on to the bar. Well, he connected well with it. Maybe just caught the top of his head a little. Oh, nice ball over the top. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. McGinn. Watkins. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. The Hammers come away with it. Mohamed Kudus. So a half an hour remaining. Read that pass all the way, cutting it out. Could be dangerous. And it's opening up. It's in. They're looking really relaxed and confident and not giving the opposition much of a look in. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. Well, it's going to be difficult for Unai Emery and his team now. Just look at his... face he's absolutely furious and the ball is Moving again, 2-0 is how it stands. Well, spot on with that challenge. Good weight on that pass. Oh, could it be Antonio? And a goal! He's put it away, a celebratory moment. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. Well, the action underway again with the Hammers very much in control of the game. Just 20 minutes remaining now. Ian Madsen. And now with McGinn. McGinn. kick awarded then by the referee well they've been getting the substitute ready and now they will make the personnel change well that didn't go exactly to plan and no wonder he's getting a few icy stares from his teammates yeah that's a complete waste he was never going to score from there Todibo Ward-Prowse, on the ball, Mikael Antonio. Antonio, Ward-Prowse, and what a magical save it was! So the corner played into the box. The corner kicks keep on coming.
Well, here it is again, and you have to say it's the perfect delivery into the danger area. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Oh, breezing past him. And a decent save, full credit. Playing it in and taking care of the situation. Maxwell Cornet. Can they hit on the break? Well, this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Can he create an angle? Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. Well, he looks really pleased, doesn't he? His side have been really good today. Oh, my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. And that is going to be all for this game, and it's going to be recorded as a win for West Ham. What did you think of their overall display? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Yeah, it was a very good performance. He scored one and hit the woodwork, but his general play was outstanding as well today. Very impressive.